available and uh, just ahead of them, Max Vissel using. Oh, what's Mike, that? I don't know, quite. That was a shot from the Olympiakos car. We'll try and get another view of that. He's running in. Oh, that's a huge accident by Chris Vanderdrift. He's gone over the back of the ace. AS Roma car, and that is incredible. That's got to be a red flag. It looks like he's been in the trees. So the uh, Olympiakos car in the middle of the track there uh, on the approach to Hawthorns. Cars avoiding the debris, and it's and, and people still not quite sure. They're still racing, of course. They're still hard at it because there's no yellows out there at the moment. There's a red a, flag. Red flag has been called. Happened. He ran into the back of the car ahead, but let's just see it at real time here. And in fact, that's interesting. Oh, it was a miscommunication, effectively, because AS Roma was moving to the right to let him pass on the left. Yeah, and here we go. Oh, oh and that's a terrible, terrible accident. A massive accident, absolutely huge. The car splitting in half, which is what it's designed to do. The engine and gearbox splitting away from the monocoque. Here we go at the front of the grid. Sebastian Bourdais in the championship leading car. There's Mick Asalo next to him. Behind them, Graham Rahal and James Hinchcliffe. Hinchcliffe got a pretty good start, but now he's stopped oh. dead. He's stopped dead and he's been run into straight up the back from Lucas Degrassi. Well, there's more cards. Oh my goodness! That's Ricky Taylor in the second through Jitsu Cup with Tony Oliuzzi that made the contact. Cut 33. Red flag, red flag, red flag. This requires the cars to just stop at pit lane entry, just adjacent to pit lane entry, while we just sort out uh, this incident on the starting grid. Cars strewn everywhere. down at uh, BJR chatting to my old boss actually Bradley Jones uh, Oh no Holdsworth oh, and Davison Oh my no. goodness It's a big crash and it's Caruso over the top. It was Michael Caruso That was a shocking incident Good. Oh my goodness me twice in two days in the same spot and uh, I think I heard Will say it was completely over stay, the top. Stay there till the marshals get to you, mate. Yes. Being safe at the moment. So Caruso has gone in really heavy in exactly the same position, exactly the same way as Garth Tander did. And Will Davison is out of the car. And he's going to go and make sure that, that Michael's OK. That was just an enormous impact. Look at the back. Look at what it's done to car 22. Absolutely wrecked it. Car Ripped two. It to shreds. Check this out. This is the hit. So that turned him around, but 22 actually turns over. Oh, oh that's insane. Oh. Oh. That's fuel at the back of Will's car. That is such a fast section of road. So sorry, it didn't turn over, but it turned right up onto the back. Jetzt wollen wir uns erstmal auf die ersten Meter konzentrieren. Start ist freigegeben, der Ford kommt gut weg. Dahinter ist der SLS auf der 2 und René Rass, Christopher Mies innen und Crash hinten. Das ist eine Corvette, die da abfliegt und ich sehe ein Safety Car. Gerd Beisel, oh, und da gibt es äh, so eine kleine Feuerentwicklung. Abbruch, Abbruch, ihr könnt vom Gas gehen, das ist eine erstmal sicherheitsbedingte Entscheidung, das Feld hat es vielleicht noch gar nicht richtig bekommen, aber ihr könnt vom Gas, weil Feuer und so ein Unfall im Start braucht kein Mensch, jetzt müssen wir uns erstmal um entsprechend zu sehen. Wir sehen, Gerd Beisel ist ausgestiegen, wird gestützt, aber er ist schon mal draußen, das ist, glaube ich, das ganz Wichtige in dem Moment. Da sitzt auch der Schreck im Rennanzug, im wahrsten Sinne des Wortes. Aber vorsichtige Entwarnung, klar. Michele macht seinen Job. Äh, entsprechend Maxi Götz reiht sich da hinten ein. Jetzt sehen wir hier in der Mitte ganz hinten. Da gibt es entsprechend die Berührung. Die 49, das ist das Phoenix-Auto und eben die 40, Gerd Beisel. RWT Racing ist ein Gaststart der Corvette. Da hat man gesagt, Mensch, wir kommen hier zu unserem Heimspiel mehr oder weniger und fahren. Und dann bitte, das schauen Sie mal, wie der nach rechts abbiegt. Hier kriegt er den Schlag, zack, und dann geht da gar nichts mehr. 
Ist da die Mauer noch mit einer Safer Wall versehen oder war das der nackte Beton? Der nackte Beton an der Stelle. So the bottle of Ford will lead them down to turn one. Lowne slots into second. Oh, Big Tanner. dive on the inside from Tanda. And that will force some contact with Will Davison. Very aggressive move by Garth. Right now is the time to make places if you can. Bright's been elbowed and round goes Slay. It's taken Bright with him. And into the wall goes David Wall. Oh, this is big. Oh. That's Steve Fiore. Yeah, Up on the side. It's yeah. one of the Altimers there. That's Russell Engel involved with Alex Prema. They're all in the fence. This will be safety car. May even be red flagged. Red flag. That was very big. Turn one, red flag, red flag. Six cars, cars at least involved in this. All cars to return to their original grid positions. So Prima's going to be able to get out of it. They'll bring the cars back to the line. So that's Tim Slade on the left of... In the Team BOC, car number eight. He gets pushed wide. That's the first sign of danger. Scott McLaughlin's in the middle of that one. Then it clicks up on Tim Slade on the left, who gets fired across. David Wall's got nowhere to go. And then it's just sandwich time. The key's in the middle of the road here. That's where the angst starts, and that's where it crunches. pit straight it is in the pit straight and it will be an enormous accident then because that's something like 150 miles an hour it's the back end of the jaguar has got away from safety car out of course and uh, this will play into the hands of anybody who's yet to stop for fuel with this uh, physical pass right in the oh nasty he, he hit the station retire of course and uh terrible accident And it's been hit from behind. It's uh, and Carl Carl's Weidler. moving, trying to get out of this car quickly. He's out of the car. That's good to see, because that has taken a massive hit from behind. The race is red flagged. And it, there's another car involved behind. It's really hard to pick up. It's a Kelly, it's a Kelly car, I think. Yeah, it was a black Commodore by the looks of things. I think it's hard to see. I think it's Todd Kelly's car. He was starting right down the back. The danger here. We're going to have a look at a replay to try and unravel what's going on. Look back at the pack. Carl stopped. Oh, oh, man. oh man. And Dave Reynolds pulled out of the way. Owen completely unsighted. He had no chance. He had nowhere to go, did he? And that's just punched straight into the fuel cell. It's split the cell. The fuel's been ignited, but there's a whole lot of electrical apparatus in the back of the cars. There's fuel pumps in there. There's power and batteries and things in there. And I, and I don't think I've ever seen anything quite as ferocious on a start line in terms of front to rear impact. That has devastated that car. That, that car will be just about over and out, I'd say. I totally agree. I've never seen an impact as heavy as that on a start line anywhere.